Sleep deprivation is when you don't get the sleep you need, a problem that has only worsened in recent years. In sleep medicine, sleep deprivation is defined based on sleep duration, which is the total amount of time a person spends asleep. In reality, though, being well rested is about more than just how many hours you sleep. As a result, the term sleep deficiency or sleep insufficiency 3 are more frequently used to describe factors that reduce the quantity and or quality of sleep and keep a person from waking up refreshed. Regular poor sleep puts you at risk of serious medical conditions, including obesity, coronary heart disease and diabetes, and it shortens your life expectancy. It's now clear that a solid night's sleep is essential for a long and healthy life. Most of us need around 8 hours of good quality sleep a night to function properly but some need more and some less. What matters is that you find out how much sleep you need and then try to achieve it. Everyone's experienced the fatigue, short temper and lack of focus that often follow a poor night's sleep. An occasional night without sleep makes you feel tired and irritable the next day, but it won't harm your health. After several sleepless nights, the mental effects become more serious. Your brain will fog, making it difficult to concentrate and make decisions. You'll start to feel down, and may fall asleep during the day. Your risk of injury and accidents at home, work and on the road also increases. Common causes of sleep deprivation include Personal choice, some people don't realize that the body needs adequate sleep. Instead of regularly going to bed at a reasonable hour, they prefer to stay up late to socialize, watch television or read a good book. Illness, illnesses such as colds and tonsillitis can cause snoring, gagging and frequent waking, and have a direct effect on sleep by fragmenting it. Work, people who do shift work disrupt their sleep-wake cycles on a regular basis. Frequent travelers, for example, airline crew, also tend to have erratic sleeping patterns. Sleep disorder, problems such as sleep apnea, snoring and periodic limb movement disorder can disturb the person's sleep many times during the night. Medications, some drugs used to treat disorders such as epilepsy or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, can cause insomnia. The sleeping environment, sleep may be disrupted for a range of environmental reasons, for example, because the bedroom is too hot or cold or because of noisy neighbors or a snoring bed partner. Poor sleep hygiene, some people's habits are disruptive, for example, Drinking coffee or smoking cigarettes close to bedtime stimulates the nervous system and makes sleep less likely. Another common problem is lying in bed and worrying, rather than relaxing. Babies, older babies and toddlers, parents almost always experience sleep deprivation because their young children wake frequently in the night for feeding or comfort. Effects of sleep deprivation. The immune system. Sleep deprivation may cause a person to be more prone to infections, which may take longer to resolve and respiratory diseases. Weight, sleep can affect the hormones that control feelings of hunger and fullness. It can also trigger the release of insulin. Changes to sleep can cause increased fat storage, changes in body weight, and a higher risk of type 2 diabetes. The cardiovascular system, sleep helps the heart vessels heal and rebuild and affects processes that maintain blood pressure, sugar levels, and inflammation control. Too little sleep may increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Hormone levels, insufficient sleep can affect hormone production, including the production of growth hormones and testosterone. It also causes the body to release additional stress hormones, such as norepinephrine and cortisol. The brain, sleep deprivation affects the prefrontal cortex, which handles reasoning, and the amygdala, which deals with emotion. A lack of sleep may also make it harder for a person to form new memories, which can affect learning. Fertility. Poor sleep may affect the production of hormones that boost fertility. Obesity, research has found that people tend to consume more calories and carbohydrates 11 when they don't get enough sleep, which is just one of several ways that poor sleep may be tied to obesity and problems maintaining a healthy weight, pain. Sleep deprived people are at a higher risk 14 of developing pain or feeling that their pain is getting worse. Pain may cause further sleep interruptions, creating a negative cycle of worsening pain and sleep. Mental health disorders, sleep and mental health are closely intertwined, and poor sleep has strong associations with conditions like depression, anxiety, and bipolar disorder. Lack of sleep ages your skin Most people have experienced sallow skin and puffy eyes after a few nights of missed sleep. But it turns out that chronic sleep loss can lead to lackluster skin, fine lines, and dark circles under the eyes. 
How to prevent and treat sleep deprivation. Keep a consistent wake time. Wake up at the same time every day, including weekends or days off. Waking at the same time every day will actually help you to sleep better at night. A fixed wake time helps to build a strong desire for sleep throughout wakefulness. This sleep drive gradually builds, and shortening it by sleeping in will make it harder to fall asleep the next night. Sleeping in on the weekend makes it much more difficult to wake up earlier on Monday morning. Prescription Sleeping Pills Your doctor may prescribe sleeping pills. But like OTC sleep aids, they can become less effective over time. Breathing Device If your sleep deprivation is due to sleep apnea, you might be given a device to help you breathe during sleep. A continuous positive airway pressure CPAP, machine is the most common option. Light Therapy If you have severe insomnia, your doctor might suggest light therapy. This treatment is designed to help reset your body's internal clock. Put away the smartphones and tablets. Electronic devices keep your mind humming, and far from the relaxed state you need to achieve before bedtime. It's a good idea to put away devices like smartphones and tablets at least one hour before bedtime. Avoid foods that disrupt sleep. Some foods take a while to digest. The digestive process can keep you awake, so it's best to avoid these foods just before bed. Heavy meals fatty or fried foods spicy meals acidic foods carbonated drinks if you're too hungry to sleep, choose a light snack like crackers or cereal. Also, try to eat your last meal several hours before bedtime. The bottom line. The first stage of sleep deprivation occurs within 24 hours of missed sleep. Most people can tolerate this level of sleep loss. But as sleep deprivation continues, it becomes increasingly difficult to stay awake. It also impairs your cognitive function and perception of reality. Fortunately, with proper sleep habits, it's possible to recover or prevent sleep deprivation. If you still have trouble getting a good night's rest, visit your doctor. Finally, in our society, nowadays, people aren't getting enough sleep. They put sleep so far down on their priority list because there are so many other things to do, family, personal stuff and work life. These are challenges, but if people understand how important adequate sleep is, and how to sleep better, it makes a huge difference. Thanks for watching. Like and sue.